Dear Excellencies, Mr. Secretary General, and thank you to the oaths of for the opportunity to highlight the ongoing crisis in Yemen that urgently requires international support. As the conflict in Yemen enters its seventh year, the humanitarian community continues to respond to widespread food insecurity, cholera outbreaks, and displacement. The already staggering needs in Yemen have been compounded by the threat of a second wave of COVID-19 and the re-escalation of conflict in Marib, which has led to new waves of displacement of the most vulnerable families. UN data for 2021 shows record levels of acute food insecurity, raising major concerns over the impact of hunger on particularly vulnerable groups, especially internally displaced people and migrants, many of whom remain stranded in Yemen with little to no access to resources or assistance. In 2020, IOM was able to assist over 4 million people in Yemen with critical services and community recovery activities. IOM scaled up assistance to the estimated 14,500 stranded migrants in Yemen, advocating for the resumption of voluntary humanitarian return as an immediate life-saving measure. However, with over 24 million people still in need of some form of assistance, Greater resources are needed to respond effectively to growing and complex needs. IOM, alongside with our humanitarian partners, are concerned about the serious impact that prolonged funding shortages will have on the ability of IDPs, migrants and other vulnerable populations to survive the looming famine, ongoing pandemic and escalating conflict moving into 2021. Funding shortages had real consequences in 2020, which were particularly heartfelt in cities like Aden and Marib, which owes thousands of migrants and IDPs in dire need of support and with already limited access to services. While an immediate humanitarian response remains critical in Yemen, IOM continues to advocate for a lasting peaceful resolution to the conflict. IOM reiterates that an immediate suspension of hostilities followed by a political solution is imperative to protect the welfare of the most vulnerable populations in Yemen. This is most urgent in Marib Governorate, where recent conflict continues to worsen needs on the ground putting the lives of hundreds of thousands of IDPs, host community members and migrants at a heightened risk. Thank you to the government of Sweden and Switzerland for their active coordination and to the donors present for their generous financial contributions and political commitment to the humanitarian response and peaceful resolution of the conflict in Yemen.